So you did speak about your daughter briefly, but I wanted to ask you in general, what is Robin's strategy for when life throws you curveballs? How do you suggest other people deal with curveballs in their life? That's really changed a lot over the years. I think in the um, with some of the things I've really had to rely on other people. And it sounds really silly, but for me, from 2015 to probably 2017, when we were really in the, uh, you know, really fight for, for Kiara's life, um, Facebook was a huge support for me, which is kind of backwards and ironic. Mm. But it was those moments when I was in the children's hospital in the middle of the night, you're hearing nothing but beeps and alarms and the helicopter landing and knowing somebody's worst day of their life. And it's just mm. all these feelings. And I would post on Facebook, you know, feeling kind of scared right now, or, you know, feeling kind of worried about something. And it didn't matter what time of day somebody would be there. I'm there for you. I'm there with you. You're in my heart. Um, mm. You got my prayers. Like just having that connection with other people was really uplifting for me. Mm -hmm. And I think that was a real beginning of a growth pattern too. To I've always had a strong spiritual life, but to to rely on other people for that too to help help refill me. When there were times when I was too scared to speak the words, I let other people speak them. When I was too scared to pray the words, I let other people pray them. And allowing those people to to um, kind of lift me up on in that way, um, it allowed me to be strong. And I think the same is true now. So relying on other people for different things for a conference, I have amazing committee chairs. So I've gotten all this, this stuff together for them and shared with them my hope and dream and vision. And then I'm like, here you go, girls. And they're honored at taking the role. And I'm excited to see what they do with it and how they're going to execute that. And just all the different parts and pieces that are coming together. I think that's kind of allowing other people to to hold you up and then you I mean if you're gonna have a great team let them be great <laughs> you know so uh, yeah I'm you have really, to trust really lucky them. yeah I'm really lucky that I've been surrounded by women who care and um that that are really great like that so for me coping on that would be relying on other people reaching out to other people um and then also that was in the beginning. I think now I just don't allow myself to think anything other than what's positive. It's really choosing joy. Um, mm -hmm. Earlier today, I saw a post online of a cancer kid. She She's forever 12. And um, there was her mom. It's been several years, but her mom had posted a picture of her. And I ugly cried, like ugly cried because I'm fixing to leave my kids tomorrow for three yeah. weeks. And I, I told my daughter when she got home from school, I was like, I almost went and got you from school. <laughs> like I almost needed you here like right now. <laughs> But um, at the end of the day, I choose joy every day. I know she's here and I get to FaceTime her. I get to call her. I get to come home to her. I get to hug her. And there's a lot of moms that would give anything for that, that have, have mm -hmm. you know, their forever 12 year olds or their forever five year olds. And um, so just always choosing joy and not allowing myself to go down a rabbit hole of, of negativity. I'm going to choose joy of what I want a girl in the gun to be, what I want mm -hmm. to, who I want to be. Um, mm -hmm. other people. And I think other people want that also. They want to be strong women. They want to be positive women. And so when someone mm -hmm. leads the charge, um, you know, if mm -hmm. you build it, they will come. Mm 